Yeah, absolutely, guys. It was beautiful east side, west side, down south. If you're out in the lake on a boat, it was nice as well. But boy, guys, this was just such a refreshing change over the heat wave that we dealt with earlier last week. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to get back to that again. If you like the heat, hey, I know winter is not too far behind, so we'll take that as well. We tend to roll with the punches here across northeast Ohio, but we are going to start to ramp up those numbers as we go to the middle half of next week. So let's get you started tomorrow. Monday just looks picture perfect around here. We'll have partly cloudy skies in the morning. You saw in that CSU time lapse some of those clouds floating through. That's going to be the case tomorrow morning as well. We'll be in the 60s though. How about that? Isolated shower possible tomorrow afternoon and evening along mainly the lake breeze boundary. Otherwise, we're mostly sunny with highs in the 80s. It is refreshing. As I mentioned, look at the numbers. 65 Ravenna right now. Ditto that Chardon. Even Dover, New Philly in the 60s right now. A little bit warmer as we get up towards the lakefront. That lake water temperature in the 70s now, so it doesn't provide any cooling any longer. We kind of flipped a switch on on that. The dew points have come up a little bit, so it's a little bit muggier this evening. That's because the air is kind of settling down. Uh, oftentimes it gets mixed up. You get some dry air during the daytime. And that wind is out of the north. Notice calm everywhere, but 14 downtown. That's because we've got a weak little frontal boundary sinking through the city right now. You can see it there on the radar. Still seeing these isolated downpours. I talked about this at 6. They're few and far between, but yeah, that's rain falling outside. Areas of Erie, Huron County, stretching into Medina, the Lodi area right now and you see that little line coming across the lake that just made it through downtown there's a refreshing breeze behind that and that little line is going to perhaps kick off a few more downpours from north to south across the area tonight but the big picture shows this isn't much to deal with most of the moisture pulling off towards the east we do have generally a high pressure that's going to work in here it's kind of muddled this time of year but overall we're dealing with more sunshine hours than we have with the rain the national design Mart hour by our forecast picking up on a few of those showers tomorrow morning. I think they'll still be around down to the south. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy. Comfortable temperatures to start our Monday. You could see some isolated showers kicking off in the afternoon. I'm not too impressed by that. I think our model's overdoing it. All that will go away tomorrow with sunset. Again, a beautiful Monday with high temperatures in the 80s. I calculated the summer rainfall. This is since June 1st, technically. I know summer starts a little bit later than that, but look at the deficit still. Cleveland, Akron, down towards Mansfield. We're all running one to three inches below average. So what happens this week. This is what the weather map looks like. It'll shape up this week. You can see not a lot of rain as we go through your Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday. We'll get a frontal boundary in here on Thursday. That'll likely kick off our next good chance of showers and thunderstorms around here. And then on into the weekend, it looks like we'll have some isolated thunderstorm chances. But here's the rainfall across the country over the course of the next seven days. You can see the majority of it staying off towards our west. We'll see if we can get some of those storms in here. But overall, it does look like a fairly dry week. But the humidity will be back. As I mentioned, in terms of Thursday and Friday, we're really ramping it up. And look at the temperatures as a result. Your Universal Windows Direct 10-day forecast, comfortable tomorrow. A little bit warmer with sunshine on Tuesday, but by Wednesday, we're cooking. We're back up into the low 90s. That humidity rives on Thursday with those showers and storms. And we stay in the 90s as we go throughout your weekend and then the beginning of next week, shaping up to be hot as well. So mid to late July around here, hottest time of the year. It's certainly going to feel like that. We'll be back with sports after the break.